Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Aviation RC News Podcast. My name is Joe. And I'm Matt. And tonight we're doing, a, I won't call it a filler episode, but definitely not one of our uh, regular full length. We are coming up on Thanksgiving, and uh, Matt and I went to sit down a few nights ago to record, and I think both of us thought the other guy knew what we were doing, and then we both got here and realized neither of us knew what we were doing. And so, <laughs> well, it, uh, it was it was partly that, and I think it also realized that to to do what we want to do properly, there it really helps to have a couple of visual aids, mm-hmm. and uh, like we like we both flash back to the motor episode where that one's another one where boy visual aids would have been amazing. So yeah, we're going to put together a small, uh, a power, we'll call it a PowerPoint presentation or some sort of presentation that we're going to talk with you guys on the podcast through, but we're also going to post it to YouTube for you guys to watch. We're going to urge you to watch it usually because it's got better stuff in it, but you don't have to watch the whole thing. Just the parts where we're talking about uh, our topic. What's our topic going to yeah. be, Joe? Lift. We're going to talk about lift. Yeah. It's almost, we gener- that's not that important, is it? Ah, <sighs> jeez. Like we've generally like lightly touched on in the past when it comes to airfoils and you know what causes lift and all that, but there's misconceptions that it's an in-depth conversation. So I'm in a process right now of getting my baby PhD in uh, fluid dynamics <laughs> as uh, <laughs> as I am doing yeah. research and study for this and putting together the PowerPoint presentation. So it is going to be a different format for us. Um, okay, we'll be recording that video. Uh, I, ideally, whatever go and what I would like to keep, whatever goes out audio wise is going to match the video. Whatever goes out video wise going to match the audio. Right. It's just, you know, the vi- YouTube is the video platform we'll have where it's going to be kind of interesting, actually. It's a different format for us. So I'm going to do like a, a slideshow or a PowerPoint presentation and I'll have our camera superimposed on it so you can see us. Uh, but we'll be going through that presentation, and we're still going to have it so that it can go out on Spotify and Anchor and Podbean and all that, so that you can listen to it. We will try to have the conversation in such a way that visual aids are not required, but they will definitely be helpful um, when we're having this kind of conversation. So keep an eye out for that, and uh, we're going to be sitting down... Today's Monday night, but we'll be sitting down in a little over a week to actually have this conversation. So two mm-hmm. things on that. One, Maybe the 28th, this episode will go out. Uh, yeah, probably the 28th. Okay. Yeah. Tuesday 28th, I think, is when I think we were looking at next sitting down so yep. this doesn't get too far out there. Right. So Tuesday 28th, which will be like three days after this goes live. We'll be sitting down to have that conversation. We'll be in the Discord podcast recording channel, so feel free to pop in yep, and watch if you want. Yep, listen um, in if you want to hear it live. Uh, but then more you can, importantly, you can chat with us in a little chat window on the side, so that you can mm-hmm. ask questions as we go, so we don't miss the important things. And that was going to be my point. Was more importantly, uh, if you have questions about lift, put them in the uh, podcast topics uh, channel. Yep, that will we'll be the easiest there. place because that doesn't get a lot of traffic, and we'll be able to um, we'll be able to see those, and I'll try to address any questions that come up to the best of my ability. So, or um, that's part of the fun is you just get to hear us try to fum- <laughs> try to answer those questions. Hopefully, we'll, we'll do try it not to fumble this one. No, I think I think we'll be okay. I I think we've got enough core knowledge uh, between your mini PhD. And what I've been learning in the Build Your Own Airplane books, uh, mm-hmm. that we might have a chance of answering it knowledgeably. Yeah. I mean, so at the end of it all, <laughs> it's, all right, I don't want to give too much away. It is a very, it, it's easy enough, but when you start digging <clears throat> into it, it can go a mile deep. So There's a lot um, of weeds under those tall grass. Yeah. So we're going to have some fun with it. But until yeah. then, we wanted to sit down. And have a little bit to say for Thanksgiving. So hopefully everybody is recovering from their food coma. Right. Um, Hey, if you're, yeah, if you're in America, uh, happy, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving from us here to you guys. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, just know that I ate an extra turkey leg in your honor. Yep. And I had an extra helping of some casserole just for you. 
Is it green bean casserole? Oh, please no. No, broccoli cheese. You're killing me. No. Okay, mm-hmm. you broccoli you take cheese. the extra serving of broccoli cheese. I'll take the extra green bean casserole. Or maybe maybe candied yam casserole. Now, I could do some candied yeah, yams. That's a winner. Every time. Mm. <laughs> or, Every time. I have yet to meet a bad one. I've, I've met some <laughs> questionable ones, but I've, I've never met a bad one. Or my grandmother's uh, family famous uh, giblet gravy. I'm coming about down to your house now. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> Sit next to the table seat for me. <laughs> All right. But until then, we're going to talk a little bit tonight about what we've been up to. Uh, yeah. A couple of things we got coming up. And then we'll be getting out of here. This one won't be too long, but we did want to be able to come on and spend a little bit of Thanksgiving with you guys. So, right, Matt, how do much it. do you have? Uh, it, it's not a whole lot. I've been planning out, um, trying to figure out how I'm going to directly tackle our project for Flight Fest. Um, what kind of, uh, what we are willing or, or able to commit to. And we had a mm-hmm. couple conversations like, I'm going to rebuild the giant noob wonder. I'm going to build one for sure. Definitely. It's coming. And because I can't stand there only being one, chances are I'm going to build the other. <laughs> so Joe's going to get the experience of trying to put down too much hot glue all at once. Uh huh. All I'm going to say, Joe, is maybe, maybe, just maybe, you should have done what I did, or I should have done the first time, which was use some Gorilla Glue. See, my plan is to... More work my my plan, we'll see how that works out, is right. to actually have a little more time to do this so I can use foam tack and Gorilla Glue and those kind of things. And then glue it, set it, let it set for the evening. One board at a time, as my grandfather would say. You're doing it the slow, methodical, proper way. Good for you. I, yeah, I'm eager well. to see how our methods turn <laughs> out. Mine is a fast, furious, oh my God, I can't believe this is together in one day kind of way. And yours, yours is going to be a little bit longer. So that'll be good. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, so I'm, I'm, I've, we talked about doing that. We've got a giant project that will involve the community in some way. And we're still fine tuning some of that stuff. And with that included a lot of other aspects to it that you're going to take on some of the automation possibly. And Mm -hmm. I'm going to take on some of the perpetuity of it. We'll call it that. Um, And we'll see where that goes. Yeah. I'm still not a hundred percent sold on this project, but uh you know, we may end up punting to just, hey, everybody build a quack and we'll build a giant one or something. Like that. I don't know. <laughs> something silly. I forgot like that. that was out there. Yeah. 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 Like a, we'll build a giant sea duck and everybody builds either a, a duck or a duckling, a quack. Yeah. AP quack. If, if, if we do, if we don't do it this year, we'll have to do it the following year. Um, yeah. It was a good idea. Yeah. And I, the, the project that we're looking at is very interesting. I say very interesting. I know you're excited about it. I'm stupid and excited. I just want the giant wonders again. I know, right? They were fun. But we're going to build fun. them right so we can feel free to uh-huh. do all the stupid things with them. That's right. Because we only got to And do then I want to be able to fly one in combat. I know. With right? you. Yeah, me too. Fighting each other. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What else you got? Uh, okay. So I, I started work on the. GB3, R3, which isn't real, <clears throat> but there's, okay. a, there's a model out there, and I cut it out, and I put it together. For the most part, I'm, I'm matching up curved sections so it's segmented, but I cut it out curved, so I'm just trying to match them all up so they look pretty. Because at the end of the day, I'm probably going to put some spackle. I'm going to sand it so it's going to be nice and smooth. So when I paint it, it should be glossy beautiful. It should be like a candied apple. It should nice. be wonderful. So I'm working on that, and then also inspired, because there was a challenge, I think, Tony threw a gauntlet down, and I I went, what is this? And I picked it up, and the Model Q is already built. Well, at least it's been designed, it's been cut out, it's been put together, and all I have to do is figure out how I've got to do the wiring for the the canard wing, because that is tricky. Oh, the Model Q was that one you were you sent me a uh, highlight of the other night. Okay, yeah, yeah I mean, he was talking about it last time, and it's basically the 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 well Model Q Ascender, which he you know he, he there's a nickname for that. But uh-huh. I, yeah. I put it together. <laughs> um, it's basically designed to be kind of an F pack, a five inch uh, prop uh, base deal, and so there's a lot more um, non foam parts on that one. 
because it's mm -hmm. got this kind of wiry landing gear set up with some shocks as well as um, wire harnesses and a pivot for the canard. So I'm, I'm working out how I want to do all that. Um, but I, the, the goal was to say, if I lay this out, when I put it together, does it look like a Model Q? And the answer is, it sure does. So I'm probably going to balance it and give it a couple tosses once I figure out how I'm going to do the canard. <clears throat> and I'll see about releasing that to the community to make sure that anybody else who's interested in building this really wacky, um, fun canard plane uh, can go and enjoy it too. Mm. Um, those, I'm trying to think, other than, you know, working on, uh, cleaning up the, getting more done on that shop, um, I've kind of stalled out on the table, so, uh, that might be what I tackle over the holiday, is getting the second table up and, and getting some recording equipment in there. Oh, I recorded the build video for the, um, or at least a good part of the build video for the Kate. Okay. So if you are nice. interested in building one, I'm about to release some plans. I've already released some plans on the build. Uh, thread, but I'll also have a build uh, video, and I'll probably release it to the FT community at large, and so that way everybody yeah, can build one, one to shoot at. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no, it it turned out really good, and that was so quick to put together. It was so quick. Was it? Yeah, it was about not even an hour, and it was done. So okay, so about a week my time. Yeah. Cool. Just about that. What about you, <laughs> man? Um, trying to think. Uh, I. So I've tried taking the kids out flying a couple times. Um, and by the kids, I mean the students that I have working with me in tech for the church. Mm -hmm. um, I took the I took the younger brother out, and I took about my I took my new wonder that I still had from Flight Fest. Uh, that's now crashed. Um, Wait, what? It was flying terribly, and oh. I just could not get it to fly well. I was also struggling with the buddy box, so I was doing a wireless buddy box between the Kernogy 9X and the Radio Master TX-16, and it really is just finicky. Um, signal's bad between the two, um, mm -hmm. and it just keeps going, you know, student signal lost, student signal recovered, or, you know, <laughs> oh, no. just non-stop, oh, no. non-stop, and it's oh, no. extremely annoying. So While did you you're trying a, to fly a plane that is not flying well, and two, question for you, two, yeah, two questions. One was it a wired buddy box or was it wireless? This is doing the wireless where my transmitter oh, has okay. the secondary module acting as a receiver. Okay, that's fine. I wanted to understand that because I know sometimes that that connection isn't as strong as I I I always thought it'd be like foolproof because I mean right? transmitters go miles right like. But apparently that's not the case. But anyway, no, that's a, a problem. That's a whole separate thing. And then mm -hmm. uh, no, part number two, did did you, I'm going to ask a dumb question. Did you check the CG before you launched? Did you? I did. And, it, and it, I, I even talked to him about CG and said, oh, we didn't check it. Let's do it. Look at you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's usually the first reason why a plane flies awful. Did you also check to make sure all the surfaces were parallel and perpendicular? As right? parallel as they could be. I mean, this Ooh. thing's got some hanger rash. Okay, well, that's the, probably... The, the yeah, when the fins, tail curls... Oh, the, well, the, the tail, the tail feathers at, were curled inward. As long as the plate on the back wasn't warped. It wasn't warped, but those tail fins were, like, the tips curling in, were yeah. curling in. And yeah. so after a, after the first flight, I brought it down and I pulled out my... Um, it's a dry grutter. <laughs> uh, my work... Uh, oh, anyway, a box cutter, essentially, and I okay. cut... I cut the curved sections of the tails off and tried to ma make them relatively match, but also had a wing tip plate that was kind of delaminated. It was just an iffy situation. Well, you Plus, know what? remember, uh, I never flew that thing very aggressively up at Flight Fest. It's had time to kind of be hanger rashed since mm -hmm. then. And remember all those little Z bin crimps I put into <laughs> the to uh, of make them. it. It, it really weakens I mean, the push rod. You, big time. Really? I would never have guessed. Is there sarcasm in your voice, sir? It is. It is. You guessed it. Ding, ding, ding. No, yeah, I, so <laughs> uh, for whatever reason, and it just was not flying well, I put it up for a couple flights. I didn't want to not be able to let this kid fly. Uh, so I, yeah. I gave him control, and he had been watching me. I had been telling him about the issues I was having. Uh, he had flown it once with the with the flight controller 
uh, or the flight assist in the past. And so I handed it to him. It looked good for about a second and a half. And then it went inverted. And I think he <laughs> did the thing that I do where it's pull the stick yep, back yep. into the corner. Nope. Uh, and two seconds later, it was in an oak tree. Um, yeah. And wait, wait, wait. It did, was, it, did it take out the whole side like like the last time one of your planes? No, did? no. Nope. It, okay. it actually, the wings didn't come apart or anything. When I first just, walked up to it, I thought it was, there wasn't going to be any damage. Mm. Uh, but there was. Yeah, uh, it's a sturdy I, build, when, though. When we finally got to it. Not going to lie. Yeah, so uh, it went into the oak tree. And credit to him, because I told him that so long as we're buddy boxing if something happens it's my fault mm -hmm. uh he looked over at me as soon as it hit the oak tree he said why'd you do that <laughs> and uh, i said you know what <laughs> fair enough <laughs> he knew exactly how to play that uh-huh yeah yeah <laughs> perfect so yeah then i ended up taking the uh the ft edge out and got a bit of flight time on that and let him watch uh i'm not i told him i wasn't willing to put that in his hands yet um that i really i've got to get some fogies made up for them so they can fly those mm -hmm. yeah and then i actually had a rough landing with the with the edge um stalled out on a landing that i was trying to wave off so i didn't have the mm -hmm. landing end up where i wanted it it was going to be far away i was going to try to power up and bring it back and it was just one of those slowly powering it up while steady pitching the nose up. Like maybe I'll keep get it into the air without punching it. Mm -hmm. And I ended up just stalling it out and she just plopped. So she did uh, <laughs> crease one of the wing plates, but that's, that's it. Yeah, okay. So she's still in great shape. Just got, got a little wrinkle now. Oh, I forgot um, there was a warbird flying. Don't let me forget to talk about that real quick. Okay. Go ahead. No, you and go. then um, finish up. Uh, as part of organizing the house and getting my stuff back in the man cave, I found the FTEZ kits again. Oh, uh, the motor kits. Good. And so, well, one of them. I don't know where the where the one that I flew at Flight Fest is, but it's still on a plane that's somewhere. I hadn't seen it. Oh, but yeah, yeah, I pulled, yeah. I pulled the little... kits out and I was like, okay, which you know, because we brought a couple home and. I uh, found the long EZ, but turns out that's just Chuck Lighter. So I ended up putting together the F-16 and took it to church yesterday and took the kids outside. I was like, let's see if we can get this thing flying. And initially it was pulling very hard to the left. Mm. Um, and so steady work and cranked and warped the wings and the, uh, the horizontal stab to get it flying kind of level. And then it just didn't seem to have any turning power. Mm. Um, I managed to get, uh, I managed to get the boyfriend flying for a few minutes. Um, he got to chuck it a couple times and just hard to the right, and it just kind of slowly turned, even with high rates. Really? Yeah, that F sixteen didn't do great. Um, oh, not saying that that it. No, no, no. As, but as it's a disappointing that it doesn't. But that one. Want, just, yeah, but you want success, right? Yeah. If this is these people's first experience. With flight, it, you want it to at least have a moment of success and fun and joy. Just that little taste is usually all it takes. And then all of a sudden, it's like, okay, I'm coming back for more. Yeah, and I just hadn't been able to properly deliver yet, which is a fault of mine and showing my uh, my own inexperience. Like, I, I can kind of most of the time get my own plane up in the air, but mm -hmm. not one that I can hand off. Right. And, um, it's not easy. It's no, and then a lot of it's just trying to be last minute prepping, so I need to <laughs> like start ahead of time and because I I mean I knocked out the F sixteen the night before, um, so I need to find whatever that plane that was that you and I flew up at Flight Fest and see if there's plans for that because that thing the flew plank? great. Is uh, if, if not, I can. I'm pretty sure there are, and if not, I think I could draw you up some plans. Pretty quick okay. from what I have. Yeah, because I know that one flies. I know I've got the the mm -hmm. little new wonder back there. Mm -hmm. Um, and yes, I know that one flies well. But I, I'd like one that was like, okay, I flew this one. I know it flies like fairly slow and very gentle and very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, even the the easy new wonder is kind of cool. Well, I, <laughs> I want to help you have success. So yeah. help you have success if you. 
if there's any way I can, let, you know, just well, you just got to mention that. it. You know that. I know that. Um, um good. And I what else? Think, I think that's about it other than steady working on this presentation for our next episode. You wanted to talk about a warbird fly in briefly. Yeah, at the beginning of November, I don't think I talked about it last time. Uh, there was a warbird flying up, up my field because I think it was coming up like right as we recorded. Um, and it, um, I went out both of the days we put in some stuff for the raffle. I had a bunch of planes kind of ready. I, the one, the first day I was getting them ready and the second, it was a three day deal. And the second day, the third, it was really second and third day of it. Um, I brought out the Spitfire, the Mustang, I got both of those set up and, and ready to fly. But what I realized I hadn't done, I hadn't remade them since God knows how long, right? Oh, man. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And there was a lot of people. I mean, if you saw the picture, there were people parked from end to end. Hmm. Like straight out, Joe. And you know the field. It's pretty pretty decent length. Yeah, it's decent. You know? And there's cars from one end all the way to the other, and there were people had all their stuff out. And um, I mean, we're talking like I've got a couple of pictures. I'll have to share them um, with you when I get it. When I get them, my phone's not on me to share right now. Um, and you know, I mean, we're talking like you know, twenty warbirds all lined up. You know, Mustangs, Trojans, all that. Oh, that's I had the uh, the Sam's uh, the T sixteen or T six te- yeah, the, the Texan. Texan the Texan, and I had one of the other ones that I know is a warbird. But I'm, I'm blanking on it right now, but I had. The four of those ready, they were in my car. They were ready to go flying. And I'm like, I'm going to remade most of these because it's been a while <laughs> since I've pulled them out and flown them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to do this in front of everybody. <laughs> and then some, <laughs> all right. And then I kind of ran out of time to be like hanging out past the hours and, and give it a go. Um, but there were some really beautiful planes. I mean, really beautiful planes. So I'll have to share you know, of course, that that extended all the way through jets. You know, they're warbirds, too. So there's a number of our guys in our field uh, fly jets. So there's some really cool stuff to watch. Um, it was a really neat thing. I uh, brought out uh, Amy's kiddo and Logan, uh, my kiddo. And they they enjoyed petting the puppies. And they thought it was like, okay, these are pretty cool. But can we go now? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, man. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. You get is about like, an hour and a half out of them. Yeah. And, and it's, it wasn't a place for them to take out some of the easy flyers i mean the wind was the the weather was perfect but um it, it wasn't really the place for them to pull out like the easy flyers and and give them a, a run around the the landing spot you know what i mean <clears throat> there's t- not t- with t- those t- expensive birds out there no not with them rolling in and rolling out <laughs> like lickety split so i was like but it was a really it, i think it was a good experience logan was kind of excited they had a trojan uh, uh, E-Flight Trojan, one of the relatively simple models that had AS3X so it would have been a perfect starter model for him. So we put in a bunch of raffle tickets for that. Um, he did not win, but we, we were really close. He was like the three three numbers off or something like that. So oh, man. The, the guy, like if I give him a five more dollars, we would have had it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. Um, but you, you win some, you lose some. That's how it is. Uh, but yeah, that, that, was, that was a good thing. And uh, I'm also looking at... Uh, I found a couple scouters who were, uh, we're, we're going to be kind of, I'm, as I'm scooting out of scouts, I'm looking to maybe start up something at the rec center where we basically get little, we get kids interested in flight, you know, start them with rubber band flyers and paper airplanes and work into the gym for indoor flyers. And then maybe have some field trips where we meet out at the field sometimes, uh, work, work our way up to RC. I was thinking, you know, working with EC, easy kits and stuff would be a, a good way to get everybody in so okay yeah man yeah it's i mean it's not terribly busy but there's been flurries of activity here and there mm-hmm. sounds like same with you yeah it's it's just getting to be that time of year um <laughs> yeah. but that just means that we're holed up inside so therefore we should be doing more building that's my plan i'm just trying to figure out how to parse out a 25 foot long plane into Reasonably constructible sections. Shh, 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 shh. Don't give it away. Not too much, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be fun. Um, uh, yeah. It'll give Ben Harbor a run for his money. Yeah, Ben, take that. 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see ben what all totally turns out to be. not in channel listening right now, waiting for us <laughs> to be done so he and Matt can talk. Uh, I know. It'll be interesting. All right. Well, look, uh, I don't have anything else, Joe. I know you've got to, you know, we got to start getting towards our holiday fun in a minute here. Okay. Well, um, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll work on closing this one out. Um, oh, build parties. Build we, parties we and a, big thanks. Yep. So... Friday, December 29th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Are we doing whatever eight, eight time o'clock. we're in? Yeah. Yeah, Eastern, time it's in. Eastern Standard Time right now. Okay. We are done with daylight saving, so it's back to standard time. Yep. So that's that's what we're looking at. Uh, Friday, December 29th, 8 p.m. You at least will be here. I don't think I have any plans. I know I'm not going out of town, so okay. should be good to go. And then we are also looking tentatively what was it, like the 12th or the 19th of january yep, yep. uh yeah it's a friday um, at eight o'clock no, now was that was that my sim party that we were throwing that date Look, on or was we, that a regular build party i thought you were going to do a sim party earlier in december if you could fit it in so look out for that but we have those two dates set aside and hopefully okay. we can get we'll do something what I, I know i've got um there's a winter campery that happens in the beginning or mid mid January. So it's mm-hmm. very possible the 12th is taken, but it may also be the 19th, in which case I've got to determine that date and I'll be figuring that out in a, probably in a week or so. And then we'll, we'll kind of solidify what we can and can't do and set that. But, but look in the, if you're not in the discord, go visit our discord. We'll have a link in the, at the very top of the list of all the channels is events. Click on that and you'll see all the events that are coming up. And we'll see if we can't post more. Uh, we definitely talked about bringing Sim Channel or Sim Parties back. See if we can get back out and get into the Phoenix again and or, or Real Flight and see if we can't sim with everybody who's interested. Figure out how we can get maybe uh, the Noob Wonder as a model to Crab. That'd be fun. That's a project in and of itself. To do what now? Uh, make a 3D model for Phoenix of the oh. Noob Wonder. Hmm. And give it a livery so it would be everybody can pick their own and have fun i mean i've i've got one largely done up in cad right i don't know what it takes at all so yeah do that's I. a that's a whole learning curve i'm not ready to talk about much right now but if anybody does know how to do that <laughs> uh reach out to me at matt at aviation com or sorry matthew at aviation com. you could also talk to joe at joe at aviation com or both of us at Aviation RC noob at gmail.com. Dot com. Ooh, and our our website is back up and running. Everything's good it with is. that, right? So it you is. can visit us there at aviation RC noob.com. And that's where we have all our episodes as they come out. Um, and, and we have a website because, among other things, our patrons help keep the lights on. Like that segue. Uh, so, guys, as always, we thank our patrons uh, for yeah. helping to keep the lights on. Uh, and allowing us to continue to do what we do, um, yep. every little bit helps. Feel free to swing by and become a patron. If you're not, uh, if what you find us doing valuable and you got a little pocket cash you want to throw away, head over to patreon.com slash aviation RC noob. It looks like uh, Ben gave me the thumbs up on something he said earlier. So as we were talking about giant builds, I know a little sneak peek for you guys. You might see a giant flying squirrel up at Flight Fest at some point. Wait. I can't wait to hear more about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Because there's Good. also that guy that did the turtle. So maybe maybe they'll all be up oh, there. Yeah. All right, it'll be a menagerie. Uh, also, <laughs> want to, Joe, you thank the patrons. And as uh, with you, I agree. Uh, also, thank, thanks to everybody who listens. Anybody who tunes in, we really appreciate you listening in and hopefully you're enjoying this like we enjoy putting it together so thanks again mm-hmm. for listening um, and that pretty much took care of my normal outro you got anything else no nothing else joe not All not right. for now but we have we have a whole thing coming up so be ready well here's hoping anyway yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, if not tune in to see what <laughs> what catastrophe it turns into it'll be funny it'll be fun either way all right, guys. Well, thank you, as always, for tuning in and listening. We'll catch you all next time. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble, or, gobble, gobble. Or wait. <laughs> I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. It's already happened. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, it already happened. 